do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students in this video we will see how to find the force vector if the uh, if the coordinates are given to us now in this example you can see that there is a force of magnitude 500 newtons originating from the origin and going through the body diagonal of this box over here from this point i mean the originating point is origin and this is the approach point or the end point also you can say so what i need to do is i need to find out the coordinates in this case because i know this length is given to me as 2 units this length is given to me as 8 units and this is given to me as 4 units i know this is the x y and z axis so i can easily find out the coordinates just in case if i name it this is my origin as o i'll call this point as a now origin the coordinates will be 0 0 0 the coordinates for point a will be the distance along x axis first so this is my x axis the distance along this line is given to me over here that is 2 units then comes the y axis this is my y axis so the distance along this line happens to be 8 units and the distance along z axis is given to me over here as 4 units so now i have got the coordinates through which the force is passing all i need to do is find the unit vector and then after that find the force vector to find out the unit vector i'll write the unit vector as o a it starts from o it's ending at a so the unit vector will come out as now i know the unit vector along oa is this so to find out the force vector i need to take the dot product of the magnitude and the unit vector so the force vector f is magnitude dot product o a magnitude is given to me as 500 newtons and the dot product we have just calculated is this so this is how i have got the force vector for the given force system that is if the force is originating from this point and passing through this point with these coordinates then the force vector is this value so i hope that you have got how to calculate the force vector in this case thank you 